What is your best bet? The first one to call triple season, where are you going? Yeah, I laid 10 with Rice against Sam Houston State. Woo! Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think Rice is a uh, is a dark horse to win the AAC this year. Uh, I, I think bringing in Warner at quarterback will make that offense better. Mike Brooklyn has a lot of guys back on that offensive side of the ball. And he's it's the rare example of an administration really giving a head coach time to kind of build his program up. And I think they'll be rewarded this year. I think Rice is going to be very good this year. We saw Sam Houston make that trans- uh, transition from FCS to FBS last year. It didn't necessarily go great. Um, I think it's going to take another year or two before they do that. Rice laying 10 against uh, Sam Houston, my uh, best bet for week one. Oh, uh, we are back. We are so back, everyone, with a Rice best bet in week one. Bear, are you going to watch this game? Are you going to put, put Rice on your, your second screen? Are you going to just hope it, you know, get score bug updates? Um, probably not I'll be I'll be probably uh, reduced to just finding this game on on an app or a website on my phone while a either uh, on my way to the airport or at the airport or uh, hopefully the flight will have a uh, Wi-Fi on the flight home late on Saturday and so uh, I, I love it yeah I I, I, th- I think we're so cer- certainly just kind of a uh, hoping for the online gods to um to deliver for us. If not, we'll be at refreshing the score page consistently throughout the day. I like it. I like it. All right, Bear. My best bet. I'm going to Nebraska, minus 27 and a half. Big number against UTEP. This is a, a play on just Nebraska's returning players in production and an addition of a quarterback in Rayola. I know it's a true freshman, but last year the offensive struggles, Bear, were because they turned the ball over too much. They return offensive linemen, they return running backs, they return good wide receivers. You add the quarterback into the mix, and this offense is going to be supercharged. Defensively, they were great last year. Seventh against the run, 27th uh, against the pass. They return eight of those 11 starters to this defense, including a great defensive line. I think this Brass team is really good. More than anything else, Bear, UTEP is not good, okay? <laughs> UTEP is basically an offense pieced together with Austin P transfers and five new offensive linemen. Hear that again. Five new offensive linemen are going into Nebraska in, in week one where Lincoln is ready for this team to explode bear, right? They're ready for some winning in year two under Matt Rule. Defensively, they only return three of, uh, of 11 starters, does UTEP, and I think Nebraska in this situation at home, they're going to want to score a ton of points because of Royola being there. Also, Matt Rule in year two at Temple and Baylor, big wins against bad opponents in week one. I think Nebraska handles this game bear. I can see Nebraska scoring in the upper 40s and UTEP scoring 10 to, to 14 points. Well, excellent analysis. Good luck with that. Um, You're not buying the. Uh, the 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 Nebraska yeah no 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 I I am I, I I'm just sitting here I was, I was thinking I'm like I'm like bad loses more than like good wins it's kind of it's kind of like that dumb loses more than like smart like it'd be, you, you can never really go wrong uh going against a a poor team like that if you think they're going to be indeed uh that bad man I I've I've, I've laid Ooh. points with Nebraska so much so many times I, I, I know like, new new day it's a new day with Rayola buddy I, I just I, talking to Matt Rule at Big Ten Media Day, and maybe there's just like too much you, you get kind of hyped up and like, but him talking about just Rayola understanding protections and how to do things with line of scrimmage, mm-hmm. and again Nebraska's recruited well. They have a lot of good football players. They, they have good wide receivers, good they're, they're returning offensive linemen, good running backs. Like they just their offense last year just couldn't hold on to the football. Like they're, they're fumbling quarterback. Well, it's, been their, it's been their program for the last ten years. They haven't. Well, I know. I, I'm betting. On, I'm betting on Matt Rule here. It's a good bet. He's he's won conference titles at Temple and Baylor, so it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a good bet to make. Bear bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds, and let's celebrate all of our wins together.